Did you know that a Komodo dragon's bite is so dangerous that it can finish off its prey in hours while a black maba's venom can take a life in minutes? But here's the mind-blowing question. What if these two apex predators actually encountered each other? Or what happens when a Komodo dragon bites another Komodo dragon? Today, we're diving into the deadliest reptile rumble on Earth, and trust me, the science behind these bites will blow your mind. This is going to be an epic exploration of nature's most lethal weapons. Stick around because we're about to uncover who can survive and who cannot in these hypothetical showdowns. Welcome to the wildest what-if scenario in nature. A face-off between two of the planet's most fearsome reptiles. In one corner, we have the Komodo dragon, a giant lizard from Indonesia's remote islands. In the other corner, the Black Mamba, Africa's lightning-fast apex predator from the savannas. These reptilian titans couldn't be more different. One's a tank with a toxic bite, the other's a speed demon with venom that kills faster than you can blink. But today, we're not just asking who would win, we're diving deep into the science of survival, biology, and some absolutely mind-blowing adaptations. Let's meet our legendary contenders, the Komodo Dragon, nature's living tank. First up, the Komodo Dragon, the world's largest lizard and a living relic from prehistoric times. These magnificent creatures can grow up to 10 feet long and weigh around 154 to 194 pounds, mostly, but sometime it go to 300 pounds. But size isn't their only weapon. Their bite is a deadly cocktail of venom and bacteria that's been perfected over millions of years. It's like nature's version of an armored tank with a sophisticated biological weapon system. The Black Mamba, Africa's speed demon. Now meet the Black Mamba, Africa's most feared serpent and one of the most dangerous snakes on the planet. Stretching up to 14 feet but weighing just three and a half pounds, it's pure sleekness and incredible efficiency. Its venom is a neurotoxic compound that affects the nervous system rapidly. Think of it this way. The Komodo dragon is like a medieval knight with a poisoned sword, while the Black Mamba is a ninja assassin with a one-shot kill dart. Before we dive into our hypothetical battles, remember that Komodo dragons are critically endangered, with only about 6,000 left in the wild, while black mambas are often killed out of fear, despite being crucial for controlling rodent populations. These aren't monsters, they're ecological treasures. Understanding the weapons. Komodo dragon's biological arsenal. Let's get scientific. The Komodo dragon's bite delivers three deadly components. First, massive physical trauma from powerful jaws. Second, anticoagulant venom that prevents blood clotting and causes shock. Third, here's the crazy part. Scientists only confirmed Komodo venom in 2009. Before that, everyone thought it was just the bacteria doing the killing. Turns out it's both nature's perfect storm of destruction. Black Mamba's lightning strike. The Black Mamba's venom is a neurotoxin. It affects the nervous system like a sophisticated biological compound, causing paralysis and potentially respiratory failure. We're talking about venom that is extremely potent and fast-acting. But here's what makes it even more remarkable. Black Mambas can strike multiple times in quick succession, delivering significant amounts of venom per bite. This makes them incredibly effective predators in their natural habitat. The Ultimate Bite Showdown. Who survives? Now for the main event. Let's break this down into three epic rounds, using real science to determine survival odds. We're looking at what happens if a Black Mamba bites a Komodo Dragon, if a Komodo Dragon bites a Black Mamba, and the surprising case of Komodo on Komodo Encounters. Round 1. Black Mamba Bites Komodo Dragon The Attack Picture this. The lightning-fast Mamba strikes, sinking its fangs deep into the Komodo's thick hide and injecting its neurotoxic cocktail. The Science The Black Mamba's venom targets the nervous system. But here's the key factor the Komodo dragon's massive size. We're talking about 150 to 300 pounds of lizard versus venom designed for much smaller prey. Body's response. The Komodo's huge blood volume would dilute the venom significantly compared to smaller animals. While a human might die in 20 minutes, the Komodo could potentially survive for hours, giving its body time to process and potentially overcome the toxins. Survival analysis. If the mamba lands just one bite with a standard venom dose, the Komodo might actually survive, though it would be seriously compromised. However, multiple bites delivering concentrated venom, the Komodo would likely succumb to respiratory failure within two to six hours. So, a single bite, Komodo might survive. Multiple bites, game over for the dragon. But what about black mambas? Let's find out in our next round. Round two, Komodo dragon bites black mamba. The attack. 
Now imagine those massive Komodo jaws clamping down on the slender mamba. We're talking about bone-crushing force meeting delicate snake anatomy. The Devastation The Komodo's bite delivers three simultaneous attacks. First, massive physical trauma that could snap the mamba's spine. Second, anticoagulant venom that prevents clotting and causes hemorrhaging. Third, bacteria that would cause rapid sepsis. Body's Response the Mamba's lightweight, 3.5-pound body has zero defense against this biological assault. The physical damage alone would be catastrophic, but the venom and bacteria would spread through its small circulatory system like wildfire. Time to death. We're looking at rapid blood loss, followed by toxic shock and sepsis. The Mamba would likely die from multiple organs. Failure within two to four hours, possibly faster from the initial physical trauma. So we can say the Black Mamba has virtually zero chance of surviving a Komodo Dragon's bite. Round three, Komodo Dragon versus Komodo Dragon. The reality, here's where things get absolutely fascinating. Komodo Dragons actually bite each other regularly during territorial disputes and mating competitions. These fights can be intense with deep wounds and plenty of venom exchange. Incredible adaptation, but here's nature's plot twist. Komodo Dragons have evolved to survive their own weapons. Their blood contains powerful antimicrobial peptides that fight off the septic bacteria. Plus, they've developed resistance to their own venom's anticoagulant effects. The science behind survival. When a Komodo bites another Komodo, the victim's immune system kicks into overdrive. Those antimicrobial compounds neutralize the bacteria while specialized blood clotting factors counteract the anticoagulant venom. Healing process. Even with significant wounds, Komodo dragons typically heal completely within weeks. It's like they have built-in antidotes to their own weapons. Conclusion, Komodo dragons routinely survive each other's bites. It's one of nature's most impressive examples of evolutionary adaptation. The bigger picture, why these abilities matter. Evolutionary masterpieces. These aren't just random abilities, they're the result of millions of years of evolutionary perfection. The Komodo Dragon's multi-weapon system makes it the apex predator of its island ecosystem, capable of taking down prey much larger than itself through patience and biological warfare. Meanwhile, the Black Mamba's speed and potent venom make it the ultimate strike predator. It doesn't need size or armor when it can end threats instantly. Ecological Importance both species are ecological keystone animals. Komodo dragons maintain the balance on their Indonesian islands by controlling deer, pig, and buffalo populations. Black mambas are crucial for keeping Africa's rodent populations in check, preventing crop damage and disease spread. Medical breakthroughs. Here's a bonus fact that'll blow your mind. Both venoms are being studied for medical applications. Komodo venom compounds might lead to new blood thinners, while black mamba venom is being researched for potential painkillers that could be more effective than morphine. Conservation crisis. Sadly, both species face serious threats. Komodo dragons are confined to just a few Indonesian islands and face habitat loss and climate change. Black mambas are often killed on site due to fear, despite being generally non-aggressive unless threatened. The ultimate analysis, who's the true champion? head-to-head -head scoring. Let's break down our champions across key survival factors. Size and durability. Komodo Dragon wins, it's built like a biological tank. Speed and agility. Black Mamba takes it lightning fast and agile. Venom potency. Black Mamba wins faster act and more immediately lethal. Venom resistance Komodo Dragon wins, immune to its own weapons. Hunting adaptability, tie. Both are perfect for their environments. Survival against each other? Komodo Dragon has the edge due to size and durability. The real winner. But here's the ultimate truth. In nature, there are no losers. Only different strategies for survival. The Komodo Dragon represents the tank approach. Heavy armor, multiple weapons, and incredible durability. The Black Mamba embodies the assassin strategy. Speed, precision, and devastating single strikes the most remarkable discovery. The real champion might be the Komodo dragon's ability to survive encounters with its own species. That level of evolutionary adaptation is absolutely incredible. It shows how nature develops amazing solutions for survival challenges. Conclusion. So who's the ultimate reptilian champion? In a straight bite exchange, 
The Komodo dragon's size and natural resistances give it the survival edge. But in the wild, these two would never meet, and that's probably for the best. The real winners are anyone who gets to appreciate these incredible evolutionary masterpieces. Both animals represent millions of years of natural selection, creating the perfect predators for their environments. If this scientific showdown blew your mind, smash that like button and subscribe for more epic nature battles. Drop a comment below, Team Komodo or Team Mamba, and tell us what other animal showdowns you want to see. Remember to respect these amazing creatures in the wild. They're not monsters. They're marvels of evolution that deserve our protection and admiration. See you in the next epic nature showdown.